We've all seen them in the news, on TV shows, in movies, and sometimes in person. German Shepherds are the most common breed used by law enforcement. But why are German Shepherds used as police dogs rather than other breeds? Let's find out. This is Dog Breeds FAQ Channel. Reason 1. Sense of smell. Well, there are a host of other breeds that are used for different areas of law enforcement. You've got some breeds that excel at the sniffing department, used to find missing people, manhunts, or to search for drugs at border crossings and airports. Often bloodhounds, beagles, and labradors are all well known and highly regarded for their effective sense of smell, and are often used for that specific purpose. Reason 2. Takedowns. Other breeds are used for their well-earned menacing reputation to be able to take down bad guys. These are either dogs large enough to knock someone off of their feet by way of latching on and throwing their weight around, or are powerful enough to grab a leg and hold onto it till its trainer catches up. Breeds often used for these purposes are Rottweilers, the Giant Schnauzer, Dobermans, the Belgian Malinois, and now police are taking in and training rescued pit bull terriers in some parts of the US as on-duty police dogs. As these dogs are used for their strengths, there's one dog that has proven itself to be the most versatile of the bunch. That breed of canine would be the German Shepherd. Now, let's revisit their history of service. Ever since the 1890s, when the German Shepherd was first recognized as its own breed, the characteristics valued about the dog was its utility and intelligence, as per the German Shepherd Dog Club of America. As their name denotes, their first mission as a working-class dog was to shepherd livestock out in the fields. Because this breed has no problem proving its intelligence early on in its history, it didn't take anyone long to recognize the value that these dogs could provide. These loyal shepherds were recruited to serve in both world wars, proving their worth in saving and protecting lives in one way or another. In those days, they were most often used as messenger dogs, sentries, red cross dogs, ammunition carriers, search and rescue, and also guard dogs. By 1944, a list of breeds had shrunk down to seven dogs that the military found were the most versatile and the best fit for the tasks required from their canine units. That list of breeds was German Shepherds, Belgian Sheepdogs, Eskimo Dogs, Collies, Huskies, Malamutes, and Dobermans. Of all of the duties assigned to each canine unit, it was the German Shepherd that stood out from the rest of the breeds. There was a German Shepherd that was brought home from the war and found stardom in silent films. His name was Rin Tin Tin. Let's take a look at three fields of service that German Shepherds are trained to perform. 1. Track This is using the nose and its other heightened senses to either find a person, living or a corpse, who may be fleeing a scene, lost, buried or trapped, or a missing person. 2. Attack This is fairly self-explanatory. This is stopping a perpetrator in his tracks by latching on and taking him down until the handler catches up to call it off. Holding and releasing are both crucial elements of a canine's training. There have been lawsuits that have been rewarded to some who were severely injured by police canines who refused to obey commands to cease. So this step is particularly important to practice till it is like clockwork. 3. Detect This is where the German Shepherd is trained to sniff out items that have been deeply hidden. This is done for the purposes of finding explosive materials, drugs, electronics, blood, or other types of fluids. Before any form of training begins, a dog must not be anxious, timid, jumpy, nervous, or easily startled. These characteristics aren't typical of the breed, but should a candidate be found harboring these kinds of traits, they are not selected for further police work training. The candidate is next checked for any injuries, illnesses, or any early signs of breed-typical physical traits that would hamper the dog's abilities. A good candidate will be a younger dog and will not show any signs of common disorders found in the German Shepherd breed. The German Shepherd as a working dog German Shepherds have been bred for over a hundred years to be working dogs. They need to be doing something in order to maintain a level of good behavior. For those who are lucky enough to be picked for service, they've been matched with the perfect stimulant as well as a means to burn off some energy. They're intelligent, which makes them easier to train. They're loyal, which helps them to obey commands. They focus on what they're trained to stay focused on, which makes them a better choice when in situations where concentration amidst the chaos is required.
They have the drive to complete tasks that they start. Their sense of smell has proven the German Shepherd dogs to be effective in sniffing out drugs, explosives, etc. German Shepherds commit themselves to guard and protect their handlers as alphas of a pack would protect their pack. They have a high sense of incoming aggression, which makes them active in determining whether or not someone is either being or about to be aggressive and acting on it. They have the size, the strength, the weight, and the stamina to take down bad guys when the need arises. Being highly energetic dogs, they delight in working and working and working. In conclusion, the German Shepherd is a working dog that works for the enjoyment of doing so, and that will continue until the dog can't do it anymore. There is no question the German Shepherd has been and always will be among the top breeds to be chosen to protect and serve through local police forces around the world. There you have it, the answer to your question. If you enjoyed the video and are new to the channel, please don't forget to subscribe and click the bell notification icon. Thanks for watching.